ضربكم وأيديكم إلى المرافق وامسحوا برؤوسكم وأرجلكم إلى الكعبين. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Allah does not accept the prayer of one who has nullified his ablution until he performs it again. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The key to paradise is prayer, and the key to prayer is cleanliness, ablution. Intention The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The reward of deeds depends upon the intention, and a person will get the reward according to what he has intended. The intention here means that one must have cleared their heart and mind and focused purely on perfecting the ablution in order to please their Lord. Saying Bismillah in the name of Allah. Before beginning the ablution, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would say in the name of Allah. Bismillah. Washing the hands. Muhammad, peace be upon him, poured water on his hands and washed them three times. Rinsing the mouth. He then rinsed his mouth three times. Rinsing the nose. Then he sniffed water into his nostrils using his right hand and blew out using his left hand three times. Washing the face. He then washed his face three times. Washing the beard. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would run his fingers through his beard, washing the forearms. Then he took a handful of water and washed his right forearm and again took another handful of water and washed his left forearm. Wiping the head. Then he wiped his head and entered his two index fingers into his ears and wiped the backs of his ears with his thumbs, washing the feet. And he washed his feet up to the ankles three times. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, made ablution, he would enter the water between his toes with his little finger. Supplication The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If one completes and perfects the ablution, and then says, I testify that there is no God except Allah, the one who has no partner, and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger, the eight gates of paradise will be opened for him, and he may enter through any gate he wishes. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. Summary: Make an intention and say Bismillah. Wash the hands. Rinse the mouth. Rinse the nose. 
Wash the face. Wash the beard. Wash the forearms. Wipe the head. And wash the feet. General points about ablution. Water usage. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to perform a complete ablution with just two handfuls of water. Brushing the teeth. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, If I had not found it hard for my followers or the people, I would have ordered them to clean their teeth with siwak, the Muslim toothbrush, for every prayer. Beginning with the right. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, loved to begin with his right side while cleaning or purifying himself, according to what he has intended. The intention here means that one must be aware in their mind which prayer they are praying. One must clear their mind from anything not related to the prayer and be aware that this could be their last prayer and so try their best to perfect it. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised, When you stand up to pray, perform your prayer as if it were your last. Takbir, saying Allah is the greatest. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The key to prayer is purification, and it is entered by saying the takbir. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would raise his hands with his fingers slightly spread apart, level with his shoulders, while saying the takbir. Allahu Akbar Meaning, Allah is the greatest. Placing the hands. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would place his right arm over his left arm, on his chest, and just above the elbow. Standing before Allah. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, performed prayer, his eyesight did not leave the place of prostration, and he forbade us from looking up at the sky or looking around in prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, It is not proper to have anything in the house which disturbs one who is praying. Recitation The Prophet, peace be upon him, would first seek refuge with Allah from the accursed Satan, saying, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed Satan. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would then recite, In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Prayer is not accepted if one does not recite the first chapter of the Qur'an. Chapter 1, the opening. Surah Al-Fatiha Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمَ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ Ameen. All praises and thanks are to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight way, the way of those whom you have blessed, and not the way of those who earned your anger, nor of those who went astray. Amen. The excellence of reciting the opening. The 
Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has said that Allah, the Blessed and Exalted, said, I have divided the prayer between myself and my servant into two halves, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. When the servant says, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, Allah says, My servant has praised me. The servant says, The most gracious, the most merciful. Allah says, My servant has highly praised me. The servant says, The master of the day of judgment. Allah says, My servant has glorified me. The servant says, You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. Allah says, This is between me and my servant, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. The servant says, Guide us to the straight way, the way of those whom you have blessed, and not the way of those who earned your anger, nor of those who went astray. Allah says, All these are for my servant, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would then recite another chapter from the Quran. Chapter 112 The Purity Surah Al-Ikhlas بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Say, O Muhammad, he is Allah, the one. Allah, the self-sufficient. He does not produce a child, and he was not born of anyone, and there is no one equal to him. Manner of Recitation The Prophet, peace be upon him, would recite the Qur'an in slow, measured, rhythmic tones as Allah had instructed him, not racing or hurrying, but rather in his recitation he would clearly distinguish each letter. He would also pause at the end of each verse. The Ruku, Bowing After completing his recitation, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would pause for a moment, then raise his hands, saying the Takbir, as it was done at the beginning of the prayer, and then bow. Allahu Akbar Meaning, Allah is the greatest. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, bowed in prayer, he kept his back level, such that if water was poured on it, the water would not run off. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would not let his head hang down, nor would he raise it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would place his hands firmly on his knees, as though he were grasping them, with his fingers spaced out. Supplication in the bowing position. In the bowing position, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would say three times Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Meaning, How perfect is my Lord, the Supreme. Straightening up from the bowing position. Muhammad, peace be upon him, would then straighten up his back from the bowing position while raising his hands and saying, Meaning, Allah listens to one who praises him. In the standing position, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would then say, Rabbana walakal hamd. Meaning, O Lord, and to you be all praise. Sajda, prostration. Muhammad, peace be upon him, would then say the takbir and go down in prostration. Allahu Akbar. During prostration, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would prostrate on seven parts of his body, his forehead and the tip of his nose, both hands level with the ears, pointing towards the Qibla, with the arms away from his sides, both knees, 
both feet with the bottom of the toes pointing towards the Qibla, keeping the heels together. Supplication in the prostrating position. In prostration, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would say three times, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Meaning, how perfect is my Lord, the Most High. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The nearest a servant comes to his Lord is during prostration, so make supplication in this position. Rising from the prostration, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would then raise his head from the prostration while saying the takbir. Allahu Akbar. Jalsa, the sitting position. In the sitting position, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would sit on his left thigh and foot, with his right foot upright, pointing his toes towards the Qibla. Supplication in the sitting position. In the sitting position, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would say, My Lord, forgive me, my Lord, forgive me. Muhammad, peace be upon him, would again say the takbir and prostrate a second time. Allahu Akbar. Meaning, Allah is the greatest. In prostration, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would say three times, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la How perfect is my Lord, the Most High. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would then say the takbir while raising his head from the prostration and stand for the second unit of prayer. When rising for the second unit, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would sit for a short while, then get up supporting himself on the ground with his clenched fists. At times the Prophet, peace be upon him, got up without sitting. Allahu Akbar Second unit of prayer Second rak'ah The Prophet, peace be upon him, would again recite Al-Fatiha, as he would in every unit of prayer, beginning with, in the name of Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would then recite another chapter from the Quran. Chapter 114, Mankind. Surah An-Nas Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul a'udhu bi nas Say, O Muhammad, I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil of the sneaking whisperer, who whispers in the hearts of mankind, from among jinns or mankind. The Ruku, bowing. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. How perfect is my Lord, the Supreme. Sami Allahu liman hamidah. Allah listens to one who praises him. Rabbana walakal hamd. Our Lord, and to you be all praise. Sajda, prostration. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. How perfect is my Lord, the Most High. Allahu Akbar. 
Rabbirfirli. Rabbirfirli. My Lord, forgive me. My Lord, forgive me. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi al A'la. Subhana Rabbi al A'la. Subhana Rabbi al A'la. How perfect is my Lord, the Most High. Allahu Akbar. The Tashahud. In the Tashahud, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would place his left palm on his left knee, clench all the fingers of his right hand, point with his index finger towards the Qibla, and fix his sight on it. In this position, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would say, أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. All compliments, prayers, and good things are due to Allah. Peace be on you, O Prophet, and Allah's mercy and blessings be on you too. Peace be on us and on the righteous slaves of Allah. I testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. Sending prayers on the Prophet. Next, Muhammad, peace be upon him, would send prayers on the Prophet, saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallayta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid allahumma barik ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. O oh Allah, send grace and honor on Muhammad and on the family of Muhammad, just as you sent grace and honor on Abraham and on the family of Abraham. Indeed. You are worthy of praise, full of glory. O oh Allah, send your blessings on Muhammad and on the family of Muhammad, just as you sent your blessings on Abraham and on the family of Abraham. Indeed, you are worthy of praise, full of glory. The Taslim Salutation of Peace The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the key to prayer is purification, and it is entered by saying the takbir and exited by the taslim. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would then salute to the right and to the left, such that the whiteness of his cheek was visible while saying, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Peace be on you and the mercy of Allah. The five daily prayers. Morning prayer, two units. Noon prayer, four units. Afternoon prayer, four units. Sunset prayer, three units. Night prayer, four units. Performing three units of prayer. Three rak'at. Make your intention. Allahu Akbar. Recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. 
Surah Al-Fatiha. Then recite any other chapter from the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Sami Allahu Liman Hamidah. Rabbana Walaka Al-Hamd. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Rabbi Ghafir Li. Rabbi Ghafir Li. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Then stand for the second unit of prayer. Second rak'ah. Recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. Surah Al-Fatiha. Then recite any other chapter from the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Sami Allahu Liman Hamidah. Rabbana Walaka Al-Hamd. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Rabbi Ghafir Li. Rabbi Ghafir Li. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Now recite the Tashahud. Then stand for the third unit of prayer. Allahu Akbar. Only recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. Surah Al-Fatiha. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Sami Allahu Liman Hamidah. Rabbana Walaka Al-Hamd. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Rabbi Ghafir Li. Rabbi Ghafir Li. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allahu Akbar. Now recite the Tashahud. Then recite the prayers on the Prophet. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Performing four units of prayer. Four rak'at. Make your intention. Allahu Akbar. Recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. Surah Al-Fatiha. Then recite any other chapter from the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Sami Allahu Liman Hamidah. Rabbana Walaka Al-Hamd. Allahu Akbar. 
سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي رب اغفر لي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر Then stand for the second unit of prayer. Recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. Surah Al-Fatiha. Then recite any other chapter from the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. سبحان ربي العظيم سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي رب اغفر لي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر Now recite the Tashahud Then stand for the third unit of prayer Allahu Akbar. As he stood, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would raise his hands. Only recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. Surah Al Fatiha. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. سبحان ربي العظيم سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي رب اغفر لي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر Then stand for the fourth unit of prayer. Only recite the first chapter of the Quran, the opening. Surah Al-Fatiha. Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Sami Allahu liman hamidah. Rabbana walaka alhamd. الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب اغفر لي رب اغفر لي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر Now recite the Tashahud Then recite the prayers on the Prophet السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله 